this is Ashima, and I just want to give you guys a little update about your upcoming entrance for Kent and Bexley. I'm just going to tell you the format, and I'm going to just share some new Kent non-verbal what you guys would be expecting this year. So let's talk about the format first. First, you have your Bexley paper that's on Tuesday, or you have it on Monday if you are of Bexley Council it could be different from everyone. I'm just saying that could be one of the things you guys would be having. So you would be having two set of papers in that. One is called reasoning paper. Another is called maths and English. Remember that Kent and Bexley don't have two stages. They only have one entrance, one stage, and that's multiple choice. So you would be giving, you would be given two set of papers and there'll be a break in between them. So the first paper for Bexley could be maths or English or could be reasoning. And the other thing could be any way around. So you have maths and English first. And after that, you have verbal and nonverbal. But the verbal and nonverbal from last year, they have shifted from CEM to GL. So the format is GL. But the paper is exactly the same way as I used to do before. You will be having a lot of vocabulary in it. That's something which is very important in Bexley. And you would be timed for each section. So you'd be timed and the sections are really, uh, are like, I remember one of my students was saying you have around 34 vocabulary questions to be answered in six minutes or seven minutes, something like that. And you have the nonverbal, each section is timed. They have a recording which says that each section is timed and you are not allowed to wear your watches in that. You have to look at the timer, what they provide you with. And they normally tell you when the paper is going to finish five minutes before, they'll tell you it's five minutes left, guys, remember. And in Bexley, you cannot go back to your papers for verbal and nonverbal. You cannot go back to the section what you have been timed before. So you have to stick to the section what you're doing. So this is about Bexley. And then you guys have your Kent. Kent would be Thursday. Most probably I could be wrong for the people who are from Kent Council, who are from Kent Council. And Saturday, Sunday for the people, Saturday, Sunday for the people who are from not Kent. And Kent also has a GL format. They also have two papers. One is called reasoning and the other is called maths and English. And in this maths and English section is not time. They have started the same way as Bexley. They have started timing the nonverbal section now. That's they have started from three, four years now. So you have to get used to that. Try timing yourself for each and every section if you're starting year five. And if you are giving the entrance, just practice this for the last week. So you'll be having that. And they have something which is new in the nonverbal, which I'm going to share with you all the screens to show you the format of the new nonverbal, what you'll be expecting in Kent. So this is the nonverbal which you guys will have because they started having last from last year. And you know that there's one section which is called spectral reasoning. That section has been added from two years now. And whatever questions are expected in that, I'll just share one screen with you all and show you what type of questions are expected in that. So if you look at this one, if you look at this one, this is basically made by 11 plus help to success as a partner company of uh, ambitious learning ALT. So you can buy these papers from our website, from their website, 11 plus help to success website, and they also have in Amazon. So you'll be having something like this in your paper. So this is a new format, which has been added in Kent in spectral reasoning. So this is kind of papers you will be, you need to practice a lot of them. And the best thing about this paper is they give you explanation of the hard questions. Like I just want to show you some of the hard questions which I have seen uh, from the papers. Yeah, this one. So like this questions here, 
you have to which group of shape can be assembled to make the shape below so you have to think about which shape could be made from the shape from the shape uh, shape uh, which shape could be made so you have to think about this one so you have this this is the same one then you have this one so you have to think about what shape can be a sample so this is a shape on the top you have to think about this shape here this one which one of these can be assembled to make the shape below so what this one can be assembled to make these shapes so you have to think about this shape here so these type of questions could be here and you can as i told you you can buy these from 11 plus help to success i'll stop sharing you and there's another for another type of questions which i have seen which is called operational questions and i've seen them in the sample paper from ex exam oh i'm sharing the same one let me just stop sharing the screen this one for a minute and i will just replace my screen I need to replace my screen. I think so it's the same one. Let me just remove this one. If I won't remove it, then it will let me share the other one. So I'll be sharing another one with you all to show you And this one I have seen in exam plus. This is a sample paper they had shared. So this is the type of question I had seen last year they had added. I'll just do the zoom in a little bit for you guys. This was one type of question which was added last year. And all the children were really got confused. Like how should we do that? And the same questions were from that book, the one I showed you. So basically you have in this, I'll just tell you how to do one of these examples so your children know how to do it. So basically in this one, they are giving you a shape. They are saying this is shape one. This is one shapes. This is the one here. This is a second shapes. This is a third one. And there's one shape given here and they have told you one, two, one, three. One, two, one, three means, you know, the one, the first one is in the white one, the white shapes become gray and the gray shape becomes white. So this is what's happening in the pattern of one. And then they have told you two. So what is happening in the pattern of two? The two is, if you look at that, the shape is rotating 90 degrees in this one. So each shape represents some pattern or the other. So your child has to carefully examine what pattern it is. So the second one, the pattern is, the shape is 90 degrees. It's rotating 90 degrees. And then they have one again. So one would be again gray white shapes become gray we know that the gray shapes again become white so they are looking at the second one now third one so the what is happening the gray shapes become white and what's the three pattern what's the third number what's the pattern of that number represents so it's the thick vertical line which is added is added down to the center of the shape so it's added down to the center of the shape so you have to think about all these possibilities and then you have to decide which shape a b c d e represents what's happening so you have to think about a white shape going gray no white shape first then rotation then going gray and then vertical lines so which one do you think will have all the qualities all the features what we have told you so the answer for this one would be c so like this your child has to practice 
lots of questions like this and the best way is to buy these practice papers and just try practicing them and there's one thing i want to tell you more in 11 plus in uh, basically in bexley you need to pass and you need to get the marks if you get 217 these are the marks they got it from last year was 217 if you get you will get into any grammar school of bexley if you get 218 219 you'll get in but it's the other way around for kent in kent you don't need to pa you need you don't need to even pass all the subjects but you need to get 107 marks in each subject so if you pass english you need to get 107 maths 107 verbal reasoning 107 non-verbal reasoning verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning 107 so these are the marks you have to get in all the ent on all the test uh, basically all the subjects to pass in Kent. And Kent has a really bad thing that they give preference to Kent students. So if you're in Kent Council, you will get into if you get 340, 350 also. But if you're outside Kent Council, you need to get more than 380. You don't have top, top 180 in Kent, but you have top 180 in Bexley. If you get top 180 in Bexley, you can apply to any grammar schools in Bexley. But you cannot do that if you are far away from Bexley. Like if you are living somewhere in Chiselhurst and Bromley and you want to go into Bexley grammar, you won't be able to get that because Bexley grammar normally takes students near them and they only take students two miles. That's really less mileage for them can bexley basically go through mileage so just go on the school's website and try looking at the mileage what mileage they have for getting you in so this is something about bexley i've told you in kent take two things into consideration they take into your marks and your mileage so if you're living really far from Kent schools and you got really good marks, if you get 390 something, you can apply to any Kent school and you'll get in. And some Kent schools go with mileage and go with your marks. And they are like dreadful grammar for boys and girls. They take 80 students from outside. And that 80 students, what they take from outside, have to get really high marks. It, they might have increased. Just look at the admission policy of the school and see how many students do they take from outside and what is the mileage they cover. And don't apply to the school, which is really far away from you and your child has gone low marks. It will You will be wasting one of your preferences. I might be making another video. Just keep subscribing to our, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you guys have not because we'll be making a lot of helpful videos for you to help you how to fill up the secondary form we have already done that in the past just try looking at that because i don't want to waste my time talking about that we have a lot of videos when to move near grammar schools this is something all of you would be thinking now we have made a video about that just look for that and what happens when you don't get the grammar school of your choice how to appeal we have also made a video about appealing how to appeal for a grammar school all these videos are there on our youtube channel and the best way to look at the videos is to subscribe our channel and because we'll be making a lot of new videos and i don't want you guys to miss the new updates we'll be doing now this is a crucial period for all of you so just keep calm and just prepare for your exams and go as it with the time the way you guys are doing just do the great work i think so that's all for today guys if you have any other questions just try messaging me and telling me i'm always here to help you all and remember that if you guys are looking for tuition just go for alt because we have a lot of good offers going on for you all because as you guys know, I don't believe giving, having big, big groups, having 40, 50 children in one group. I, 
work in small groups so I can give attention to each and every child. And we have some offers going on. If you subscribe, if you join ALT Tuition, you all will be getting free online vocabulary class. And you would be getting another thing. You'll be getting a free books from 11 plus help to success for a month. And you'll be also getting free online testing for your channel, which would be time same like real test. So these are some of the things which all of you will benefit if you go with ambitious learning tuition. I think so that's all for today, guys. And good luck for your entrances. And keep commenting and asking if you need a, if you want a video for something which you guys are looking for. I'll try making that video for you all. Thank you.